Hey what's up guys Tanmay here back with another video for our channel Simple Snippets. So in this video we'll be discussing about the concept of logic gates and see some basic gates. In the previous video we discussed about the De Morgan's law so if you have missed it you can check it out. Okay so let's get started with today's tutorial. In this video tutorial we'll learn the concept of logic gates. We'll understand what exactly logic gates are and we'll see the four different types of logic gates. That is the OR gate, AND gate, NOT gate and XOR gate or XOR gate. So let's start with understanding what exactly logic gates are. Logic gates are basic building blocks of any digital system or circuit. So they are basically digital circuits or electronic circuits which have one or more input but only one output. Now there is a certain relationship between the input and output and depending on that we categorize them in types of logic gates which we just discussed before. Now there are three basic gates that is AND, OR and NOT gate. And we'll also discuss the XOR gate which does not fall under the basic category but in still it is a very important logic gate. So here's a pictorial description. As you can see it's a transistor NOT gate. We have resistance as well as the transistor TR1 in the center. You can also see the LED glowing. So when the input is 0 the LED glows. Since this is a NOT gate the LED glows only when the input value is low. So similarly other logic gates have similar circuit designs. So let's see what exactly OR gate is. An OR gate performs a logical OR operation. We've seen the logical OR operation in our previous tutorials where we discussed the basic boolean operations. So these operations are practically carried out by these logical circuits. The output is high that is the output is 1 if any of the input is 1. The output is low if all the inputs are low. Now here's the expression. You must be familiar if you have checked out the previous videos. So the expression goes as follows. Output Y is equal to A or B. Now here's the symbol denotation of OR gate. A and B are the inputs. So this is an OR gate with two input values. It can also have more than two values but for simplicity purpose I've just drawn two input values and the output is as shown Y is equal to A or B. Also this is the truth table of an OR operation. So as you can see only when the value of A and B is 0 the output is 0 and rest in all cases it is 1. So let's move on to the AND gate. So AND gate performs a logical AND operation. We also saw this operation in our previous tutorial so if you have missed it you can always check it out. In the AND gate operation the output is high if all the inputs are high. That is the output is always equal to 1 only when all the inputs are 1. And the output is 0 or low if any one input is 0 or low. So here is the expression the output Y is given by A and B. Now the logical circuit design denotion is shown on the screen. As you can see it, it has two inputs A and B and one single output which is given by y is equal to a and b. Here's the truth table for the AND gate or AND operation. The output y is high or is 1 only when a and b both are equal to 1. Rest in all cases the value is 0. Now let's have a look at the NOT gate. The NOT gate is a special gate and by that I mean it has only single input and single output. It performs logical NOT operation. We've seen the NOT operation in the previous tutorials and it performs similarly that is if you provide a 0 value it inverts it to 1 and if you provide 1 then it inverts it to 0. So the output y is high if input is low and output is low if input is high. So it is also known as an inverter. Here is the expression y is equal to a complement. Here is the symbolic representation of the NOT gate. We have a single input a and single output y which is equal to a complement. Here is the truth table for the NOT gate. As you can see when a is 0 y is 1 and when a is 1 y is 0 that is the values are inverted. Now let's have a look at the XOR gate. The XOR gate performs logical XOR operation. This is a special gate wherein the output Y is high if odd number of inputs are high and the output Y is low if odd number of inputs are low. You'll understand this when we see the truth table. Now here's the output expression Y is equal to A XOR B. It looks like an OR operation but we have a circle around the OR symbol or the plus symbol. Here's the symbolic representation of the XOR gate. It is similar to the OR gate but there is an extra curve where the inputs meet. As you can see it is a two input XOR gate that is we have input values A and B and a single output Y which is equal to A XOR B. Now here is the truth table. So as I mentioned the output is high when odd number of inputs are high. So in the case 2 and 3 we have only one input which is high. So that is the reason why the output is high. But in the case first and the last odd number of inputs are not high. That is in the first case both the inputs are 0. So we end up with the output as 0 and in the last case both the inputs are high. That is even number of inputs are high. That is the reason why the output is zero. That's it for this video guys. 
If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, make sure you subscribe to our channel so that you get notified when you upload the next video. Also, in the next video, we'll discuss about the universal gates. Now, these gates are different from what we discussed in today's tutorial, and you'll understand them when you check out the video. Peace.